public-private partnership is also uh, characterized by a co-management of public tasks, meaning that in a public-private partnership, the public party and the private party are both involved into the common detection of those interests that need an answer and in the definition of the juridical and economical and technical mechanism through which the social demands need to be answered and will be answered. Usually the uh, literature in both the economical literature and the juridical literature affirm that whenever the public uh, party enters into intervenes into the economy uh, there is a market failure and uh, this uh, uh, statement uh, often recurs also in the in relation to public private partnership but in our opinion this assessment is not quite correct because in a public private partnership there is not a market failure in the sense that there is not a market dysfunction and there is not a substitution of the private party with the public party. It's not a case in which a, um, public, a service, a specific service, cannot be delivered by the normal laws of economics and therefore the public must intervene. Here, the public party and the private party both find it interesting to perform something together. This is why we say that in a public-private partnership there is a cooperation rather than a market failure. Also, public-private partnership both in the local dimension and into the international dimension are uh, characterized by the achievement of a specific goal of public relevance in the international dimension we have seen it in relation to the sustainable development goals in the local level this is more related to um what are the the, the in uh, related to the specific public interests that are whose uh, uh, care um is entrusted to the public party that is a party of a partnership so all these elements that we have listed so far are now as scattered pieces of a puzzle that we need to recompose in order to find the juridical definition of public-private partnership. In this scheme, you will be able to see all the elements that we have listed so far into a more ordinated fashion in the column, you see the object and the dimension of public-private partnership. You see the international dimension of public-private partnership, the local dimension of the partnership, and also how public-private partnership is different from other forms of performance of public tasks and other forms of cooperation or of agreement between a public authority and a private authority. In the last column, in the fifth one, there is the reconstruction of all the elements that can be found in all these different dimensions. In the first line, we can see that uh, the uh, characterizing element of public-private partnership in all its dimension is the logic of the compromise, meaning that a public authority and a private authority need to find uh, um, an agreement both to serve a global value and to carry out a public task in the local dimension. We have said that both in the international dimension and in the local dimension, both the public authority and the private authority um, need to perform something that is unique, something that unifies their action in the partnership. This does not mean, however, that they have different, uh, that they have the same motive, the same interests. 
what is unique in a public-private partnership is the objective of the partnership and this is true both in the international dimension and in the local dimension and this is a reflection of what we have called the, local, the, the logic of the compromise in order to achieve the same goal, the same, the, the specific, the same specific task, the public party and the private party will have to find a common ground. How it is possible to find a common ground? It is possible by agreeing on something. This is why the logic of the compromise horizontally brings about the definition of an agreement between a public authority and a private authority. In the second line, we see another element that cuts through all the dimension of public-private partnership, which is the element of the cooperation. In, in the international dimension, the cooperation is seen in goal-oriented networks of uh, entities, both public and private, both national and supranational, that uh, revolve around the same goal, the same goal of global relevance. In the local dimension, we see that the cooperation which characterizes public-private partnership is useful for the public authorities as an alternative to public procurement in those situations that are complex, that, that are uh, so complex that public, pro public procurement cannot answer, cannot bring the same efficiency. And this dimension of cooperation um, produ brings public-private partnership into a, a domain which is completely different and distant both from the contracting out and from public procurement and from the delegation of public tasks and the juxtaposition of public with the private subjects. There is not juxtaposition, meaning that both public authorities and private authorities, both in the international dimension and in the local dimension, work together for the achievement of a specific task. And this is why in the reconstructive part, in the last column, you see that all these uh, dimensions are summarized, are, or, or these, uh, the, the, the cooperation in the different dimensions uh, are summarized into the, joint man the expression joint management of one or more activities, which is the same dimension that also characterizes the fourth line. Uh, the interest of ex escaping the, from the isolation of uh, uh, responsibilities in which public authorities find themselves when they are entrusted by the law with the, ca with the care of a specific task is the um, same idea which in their international dimension is expressed um, by the statement states cannot be left alone in the achievement of uh, the sustainable development goals. Uh, the same movement which brings uh, public authorities and the international, in the international dimension governance to find help into the private party characterizes public-private partnership also in the local dimension um, where the public authority is moving towards the um, listening of what the private party um, say regarding what are the interests that should be uh, considered and how should the, should the social demands be answered in a dynamic that in all this dimension is bottom up. In the, in the last two um, lines, uh, you see all the other elements that are characterized by the fact that public-private partnership is essentially an instrument which puts at the center the achievement of something that is important for the community, both in the local level and uh, where uh, the dimension is more related to, uh, to political activities and to administrative activities carried out by public authorities and in the international dimensions where the communities are seen as people who should be uh, at the center of specific actions carried out by those goal-oriented networks that we have discussed about before. So, in order to reconstruct all the elements of public-private partnership, we can see, looking just at the last column, that public-private partnership can be defined as an agreement uh, 
for the joint management of one or more activities uh, in the satisfaction of a public interest. And here we are getting close to a definition and to find a solution of a puzzle because we have found three elements at least that characterize public-private partnership in all its dimension, in all its forms and in all its applications in any country. First of all, the logic of the compromise. Second of all, the, con the concept of the cooperation between a public side and the private side. And, th and third of all, uh, the disruptive force of public-private partnership in overcoming the traditional distances between the public and private sphere and the this, and this traditional dynamics in which the public sphere and the private sphere cooperate via delegation. Public-private partnership inverts the order um, and proposes a solution that comes direct, that come directly from the innovation coming from the community in a bottom-up dynamic. So, to sum up, the essential elements for a definition of public-private partnership are a compromise expressed in the idea of an agreement between the public and the private party, the cooperation between the party is opposed to just acquisition, to the substitution, to the delegation of power from the administration to the private entity, and a new idea of governance which puts at the center the people, the community, both in the, in the, in the selection of the interest and into the definition of the mechanism through which these interests can be satisfied. From this definition are left out some elements that usually recur into the definition of public-private partnership. These elements are, for instance, the private investment, the relation to the risk and the long duration of the contract. These elements, uh, we have willingly left out these elements because they are not able to characterize enough, they are not general enough to characterize any public-private partnership, but on, only some public form, some forms of public-private partnership, and namely concessions. The element of, par of, the, of the private investment is usually um, adopted in those definitions of public-private partnership that we can find into developing countries, which see public-private partnership mostly as a form of, um, uh, of attraction of capitals from foreign, foreign privates or from national privates. But there, there is, it's the, the private investment is not the element characterizing public private, any public-private partnership. You can uh, just think about uh, sponsorization or the idea, the Italian, the Italian agreement of the social barter, to see how the private investment is not something that uh, characterizes any form of public-private partnership. Also. The element of the risk is used in any definition of public-private partnership, even juridical definition of public-private partnership, to distinguish it from public procurement. Because in a public-private partnership, the, the risk must be shifted, it is said, on the private, because otherwise the risk would remove if the risk remains only on the shoulders of the public administration, then it is, uh, it is a public procurement. It is equal to, the, the partnership is equal to an agreement in which the public entrusts the private party to do something in exchange for money. But, again, this is, uh, first of all, very complex and it has been proven as fallacious as uh, not specific enough to define the concept of public-private partnership and still related to one specific public-private partnership, namely concession contract, which is the same as a saying that public-private partnership should be defined by its the long duration of the contract. This is true only in concessions, because, because in concessions, of course, the duration of the contract is calculated on the basis of the time in which which is necessary for the private uh, operator to um, recap its initial investments and therefore the contract is usually long but this is not the case for any public-private partnership. So what we uh, will do now is to detect in uh, with more preci preciseness all the elements composing the definition of public-private partnership as we have reconstructed it.